Legend of Total War here with part 19 of my Medieval 2 Total War Let's Play campaign as England playing as the reign of King Sim Simmond. Alright, so previously uh, King William II, the Mad King, uh, died in battle. Some might say somewhat intentionally, although I did try to save him. He was, an, he was insane, so what do you expect? Alright, now... King. There's still an army of papal forces in our way towards Rome. It's now up to um, Simon to, to to do it. As you will, so let's king. take these guys out. Look at the bounce power is dead on even here. We outnumbered them by a bit. But his army is not quite as professional as, as the other army handgunners. Um, archers should be able to handle them quite far. I don't think they're long range missiles. Of course those, those guns... Look, even... Master Even guns really men. don't do that we much damage to um, to to armored units. I think. I mean, the the thing is, they're sl so slow at reloading is that they only really get one or two shots off. It's not enough to kill a whole battalion. And then, of course, once they lock into combat, handgunners just aren't very good. Anyway, this is King Simmons' chance to uh, to show us he could be a good king. He's a young king as well. In war. There's nothing so becomes a man as bravery before your enemies. A man can be afraid and still be brave. And any man who faces battle without concern is a moonstruck fool. To be brave is to go forward anyway, no matter how afeared. That is why I go forward, in the company of so many other brave men. These papal servants make a brave show, but that is not enough against the likes of us. False prayers will not turn aside our swords. I see they have handgunners. We must take care, lest we provide them too many easy targets. Our heavy armored troops should prepare themselves for dealing with these brimstone reeking fools. And remember, my enemies know that I am a brave man by repute, and I do not willingly keep company with poltroons. You are all picked brave men here, and the enemy know this. Your bravery already unmans them. Let's do the rest and finish them! Also, just because we got a new king doesn't mean we've got... Um, out of excommunication because we're at war with the papal states. As long as we continue to be at war with them, we'll continue to be excommunicated. You can't be at war with them and not be excommunicated. Okay, I don't think they've got any cavalry, so putting down spikes is unnecessary. And since they've got guns, we should try to try to shoot them with um, with our archers. Now he's dis he's um dysfunctional but he's not mad he there's still some hope for him yet of course he's he's not he's not as lunatic as his his father but that doesn't mean he's it, it's like all okay I have to make some silly decisions with him until that trait either goes away or gets worse okay, looks like they're trying to go for higher ground that's fine all right start bombing them now, this thing's nowhere near as accurate as the culverin, but I didn't want to send the culverin backwards because I need the culverin to get to Rome. But we need need this army cleared in order to get to the culverin. Doesn't matter. Okay, I think the biggest threat to us here is going to be the, uh, the Swiss Guard and the handgunners. So yeah, shoot them. We should have plenty of ammo to, to deal with them. Even though we're shooting slowly up a height, up a hill, it's uh, it's not that much of a hill. That makes up for the, the two or three guys that they killed just then. Oh, 
trying to get longbowmen or starchers in general to shoot, uh, to move while they're shooting, can be a pain. They often disregard the order. So in my opinion, one of the things that make handgunners so inferior is the fact that only the front line shoots. I mean, yes, their missiles do more damage than archers, but archers are so much more versatile than gunners. Not to mention the gunners take forever to reload. They're probably slower to reload than crossbows. Okay, let's see, the Pavis crossbowmen have much better range. We're doing just fine here. Alright, so they want to make an attack. So let the, uh, let the archers do their thing. As soon as we get into melee, the archers won't be able to do anything. So look at them, they're too busy trying to get into formation. that would have... Oh, maybe they shot him. He did a lot of damage. But our crossbows are ripping him to pieces. Alright, I'm long ways, yeah. Um... Fuck me, they're, they're doing loads of damage. wonder if I should have actually pulled them back a bit, let the archers just do their thing. I mean, we, we're dishing out more damage to them than they are to us, so standing still is just fine. Because like I said, when we get these guys in melee, they're, just, they're not going to be able to shoot them. We're shooting at a high angle, and that's just wasting ammunition. Our guys have almost run out of ammo. When they're out of ammo, of course we'll charge. Pretty much out of ammo now. Not worth those extra two volleys or whatever. You should stop. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Around their back. The battle is very much in our favor. Only half the enemy force remains. Now, because the, the king is dysfunctional, he doesn't recognize the need to run them down. Like I said, it's not, not as stupid as his father, but it's pretty stupid letting these guys go. Just hope these two Knights Templar uh, are able to um, 
to run down the remaining 10% that we need in order to wipe Our them men out. Are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The majority of their army actually came back. So I'll just go back in and fight them. What are they doing? Are they trying to withdraw now? Yeah, I think they might be. Yeah, they're, they're getting the fuck out of here. Flees, like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue... Behold how our... All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. We didn't wipe them out, but we still mopped the floor with them. And that's good enough. I mean, there's only 20% of them remaining. And um, he is dysfunctional, so... I don't know how to look at these other traits. I would say that he'd probably try and mess with them and then execute them, not fully understanding the consequences of the action. Let's have a look here. Neither chivalrous nor dread, dread. Let's have a look. He hates Sicilians, mostly rational, so he doesn't. Hmm. Okay. Chivalrous father bends the truth. Okay, he's a bit of a liar. Slothful, so he's lazy. So that worked in the previous battle, he just didn't do anything. Um, dysfunctional brave. Disrespects prisoners. Did I, did I just get that? So yeah, he definitely disrespects prisoners. Alright then. Orders. Sire. Alright, well, My take Lord. command of your father's army. Splitting our forces, sire. Come down to Rome, we gotta get rid of the Pope. And you know you know well, full well that you are not Jesus Christ reborn. And that perhaps you're not the Pope, because you're not particularly pious. But you are going to install a new Pope. One that will let us do whatever the fuck we want. Now, it's a huge city, I don't think we need another, um, and there's the Thieves Guild headquarters. Um, I don't think we need more artillery. In fact, we've got enough troops to handle that, no problem. Will, sire. But that being said, sire, my lord. you have fuck all authority, so I'll, Orders, I'll bring in Orders. a few of these guys just to, just in case they rout. I mean, no, not rout. They um, defect. Yes, Can't sire. have that. Sire. And I do think the smaller the army, the, the less chance that it will defect. I think. Hard to tell. I don't know the to exact war, percentages. Then, I shall lead our forces into battle, my lord. Let your battle cry ring out clear and true. For God, St. George, and the money! Good, short and sweet. Okay, should we reorganize this? Cavalry, then missile units. Okay, it's pretty much already organized. Okay, let's just knock down the, the gates of Rome and claim our prize. Being the head of the Pope. <laughs> yeah. By St. George, our spire's done it! Oh, he's opened he's the gate. Opened the gates. Still knock it down anyway. Actually. You don't need to knock down the gate because we can just walk right in there, but get rid of these towers here. And looks like they're gonna get off the wall anyway. Just hold off. Alright, go attack. I think they're going straight to the town square. Ah, oh, motherfucker.
Okay. Damn it, does a lot of damage. But that's okay. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. The Lord is with us today. We've captured the enemy's walls. So Simmond is far too lazy to bother going in here to attack. I mean, he's brave and lazy at the same time. So I guess if he doesn't feel like he needs to attack, he won't. But if he does, he's not going to shy away from it. And we never run away from a battle. Pour into the city and kill them all. This is the back. Move in over here. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Let's speed things up a little bit. Yeah, the Swiss guard will do a number on him. I sent George. But when we attack him all sides, it'll be different. The Pope's not getting involved, which is probably a good thing for us at the moment. But we should charge at him and get him into combat before he charges at anyone. Holy Father, we're going to kill you. They put their lances up like this. They're not attacking, so I don't accept the surrender. You get three kills on them when their lances are up. Oh, he's gone. Don't forget, he was an Englishman as well. Yeah, he should have prioritized the the king over over the papers. So then again, you know, it was pretty what he expect. But we taught him a lesson in death. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Lost more than the enemy did, but we gain more because we get Rome. So that'll be a good settlement to make money from, so I can afford the troops I need to take out the Timurids. So we're, we're reconciled because the, the Pope's dead. Who oppose us. I'm assuming it's us, maybe victory! it's just the... These people now kneel before us, my lord. There's a slight amount of dread now, so sack it. It looks like the Pope was having trouble holding Rome. And also, he's not particularly pious. He didn't didn't feel the need to take a dump at um, any churches or anything. So he's dysfunctional. Nothing's changed. He's just winning first. So we got access to Aquabusiers. But I don't like them. I hire them if I absolutely need them, but I, I guess I don't like them. Just not a big fan of guns, in general. Oh, it's Sicily that got reconciled, not us. Now, if I was to save the game and load it right now, it would, would call a papal election. Fleet ready, sire. Yes, my lord. Engaging the enemy fleet. 
Oh yeah, we've also got this this down here. I mean, I maybe should send a captain to go and see about taking it off them. Yeah, that's not going to happen with those troops there. And I haven't prioritized setting up a militia force because the problem is with low authority. It, it, I mean, that there could defect by next turn. Alright, well, we'll recruit the Arcabuzia because it's not that expensive. We don't need another Culverin. Although, why not? Sire. I. I Get that instead of the bombard, because I wasn't a big fan of that. Sire, as you wish, my lord. And disband Sire. that. Now, of course, you might be thinking, why not put that in the fort? But you know, he's dysfunctional; doesn't make intelligent decisions. Orders. Sire. So you can just stay it here in in reserve. Yes. Orders, my lord. We do need to be making our way down to Naples. The public order here should maintain. If we just leave, why not put them in there? Oops, let's press Control A. Um, yes, order. I didn't even need to do that. We can't an order. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Plenty of mercenaries available. All right, good. Now up here. Sire, hi, sire. We've already done everything that we can. Have a look at our family tree. There's certainly a lot fewer generals than we used to have, but we were running into that problem. I mean, Simmond was a, the, the new hope for the uh, for the dynasty, but at the same time, he hasn't had any children yet. I mean, he's only 23, but he's still a bit shit. Um, his sister, Christiane, um, we can't really send her to marry her cousins either. I mean, they're already dysfunctional. We don't need any more problems. They could, he could marry the great uncle, but I don't know. They're, they're a bit too old now, anyway. Daughter of the Crown. A lady needs her rest, sire. Orders, as you wish. Okay, and also up here, yep, make sure that our borders are protected against Russia. I expect that the Russians will probably come down here at some point, so we'll need more troops to protect it. So Baghdad will fall, but at least we got Mosul back. Um, it's just that, well, it's a giant steaming pile of shit. My lord. Yes, sire. Orders. By your command, sire. Okay, make sure that all the best units are inside the, the fort, uh, the, um, the citadel, because they're the ones, we, we, yeah, we don't want to lose them. It'll be okay. So the settlement's almost finished all of its construction. Alright, now we've got heaps of money, so let's build some stuff. Doing anything on really high taxes anymore, I think. So, Rome. Funny how it only has an abbey at Rome, not like a cathedral. Yeah, I go with that. I mean, we could always use more public order. Most of the stuff is finished in Rome. Moving on. Fire! The enemy is engaging our fleet! Oof. Sire! The battle is lost! But that's okay. We'll drop anchor until morning, sire. Greetings. Our people have something. Neutral. To Probably because we um Like our relations with them are actually perfect. Probably because the new Pope is, is English. Alright, sure. Magnificent. You are goodbye. 
It has been a pleasure. Now would be an alright time to just fucking get rid of the papacy. Yeah, we stand no chance. Although it's good that they lost a you know, considerable number of troops. I mean, we, all we had was spear militia. See, look at that. Look at those guys that defected there. What a lot of horseshit. Both of them did. Good thing they were just militia. Alright, so England has been reconciled, and the Pope, I don't know where he is. Maybe it'd be best if we just leave him alone for the time being. Okay, end of turn report. Plundered. Baghdad. Okay. Prisoners executed. Traitor to our people, Captain Henry, over here. Traitor to our people, Captain Samuel, over. It happens. Come and get me, you coward. Um, you should go and... F you should go and kill them. As you wish. As you wish, sire. Ah! The day is ours. Fleet ready, sire. Okay, well. Yes. The problem is with without King now, he's like a real shitbag in terms of authority. And we have another one. Born, yeah, sire. Right. So this, this one over here managed to survive. Ready. Better get them back in there, because it's like 50% chance that they'll defect. We've really got to be careful with what we do An with that sire. stuff. My king. Ships ready. I think um, yes. I think we'll leave the Papal States alone and let's attack Sicily. It's it's high time that they fleet die. Ready, but we're going to need the fleet to get us there. Can we call the sire. crusade? Two Susan's last crusade. Okay, that's fine. Yes. Marching, sir. My lord. Yes. Sire. As you wish. Merging so if we look over here. It's not well defended, so it should be fine. Actually, shit. Command me, sire. Yes. It's gonna send a second I cannon over here, just because I feel like it. So we managed to get Florence and Rome out of that that little war. And if the the Pope decides to excommunicate us again, well, we'll take the rest of their standings. Hang on. Oh, it, it's it's black, but um, it's just because we don't have any intel there. Read some of this trash here. Sire. Put that in. Yes. To some extent, these guys Be actually gone. might still help you us out if they liege. annoy the Timurids in any way. Hi, sire. Set sail. So yeah, plan here is Ajaccio, then Cagliari. Palermo, Tripoli. I don't know what we're going to do about this. We can't send a captain down there. They'll just defect every single time. Fleet ready, sire. So let me send us. We have ninety-one. Cool. All right. So you need to. Yep, you've already done that. We shall slaughter them, Milord. Orders. You should probably just wait in this fort. Actually, wait in. Oh God, the, the shit everywhere. My lord. Yeah, wait in the fort. Wait for. Wait for him. There's so many like crappy units in here. They've only got like a handful of men. Sire. Hail my king. That's orders. Yeah, that. Let's merge. Okay, sire. send these my two lord. over here. Yes, sire. My Just lord. Forget it. Orders. Another one. By your command. And then these three in here. Combining forces, sire. So we'll wait for him to get back. Yes. He's getting fairly old. Yeah. Um, might as well hire the mercenaries. We've got the money, so it's oh hang on. We'll, we'll just do this. Are you joking, sire? Yes, sire! Moving to crush the enemy! <laughs> Victory! Good. They could have raised some Another troops there and used them to attack us. us. Victory! 
Okay, I'm sure the public order here will be fine. But just leave the mine so um, crappy, let's My see. Lord. Some Orders. pilgrims behind. Bringing the men ashore, sire. Aye, sire. A fine day to sail. And then we march on Moscow. Sire. Let's go will probably wish, defect before we can we make can use of no it. Today, oh, well. Sire. So what happens when you've got a king with no authority? So let's get to building. The Mongols are no real threat now. If they pop their ugly heads anywhere, we'll, we'll hit them again. The only, only possibility for them is f to attack an undefended Russian settlement, because I'm not going to put up with their bullshit. And if they do, well, we'll head over there and take him out straight away, because you, you do not want the Mongols building up. That would be a very bad thing. And of course, the king is not really paying attention to out there. It's too far away. He's got more local concerns to worry about. Seems to me like you could have done this ages ago, and you could have brought more besieged. troops than that. But whatever. The enemy lay siege Attacking that people, fort sire. doesn't mean anything. But they're going to attack it right away because they've got artillery. Now, I don't really care if that army inside Mosul dies. But it's best they stay in there and defend it. They'll have the defense bonus. I can always raise another army to send in there to, to defend them. Shouldn't be a problem for me to get rid of them. Marching to war. Jesus. A few knights make a big difference in order resolve. Sire. Orders. My lord. As you wish, sire. Please. The day is ours, sire. By your command. Sure, we've always got sufficient troops just in case they ever try to pull one of those again on us. Ships ready. An order. Keen to conquer this I never like sailing anyway. Command me, sire. And he he hates the Sicilians, so you can bet your ass he's gonna be doing some nasty shit to them. He really dislikes them, he doesn't despise them, so I don't think he'd go as far as exterminating them, but he surely would sack every settlement that they've got. My king. Yeah. Can I call the crusade yet? Okay, cool. There are no crusade targets. What about Baghdad? Hopefully they, hopefully they decide to fight the, the rebels. That would be good. Raise some more troops in here. I mean, spear militia just aren't going to do anything, but that's all they got. Get rid of that. Paying a lot of money in the soldier, for the soldiers out here, though. But, you know, we've got the money, so it's fine. Making more than 100,000 a turn. We're rich. Hail my king. There's no need for us to be stingy. Alright. Yes. It would be quicker for you to go up that way. We'll meet up with you. King. Yeah, there's obviously some units here that we don't need. Might as well just disband them. Sire. Yes, sire. Joining forces as you wish. Merging armies, my lord. Okay, four more. Sire, my lord. Yes, sire. Hail my king. Hail my king. Leaving the rest of the force, sire. Yes, my liege. An order. Moscow does seem fairly well defended, though. We need to make sure this is well defended, just in case they decide to attack it. 
I don't know why they don't bloody kill the Mongols. They've got a much larger army. Leave them as a backup force. I'll get around over here. Alright, let's build and then move on. Still needs it. I mean, we're no longer excommunicated. But public order is still an issue in some of these settlements. Yeah, I mean, you make a bit of money from that with Arguin, but the problem is it's one of the most corrupt settlements in the game. You might actually be better off just focusing on public order for the time being. We're good, let's move on. Overall, I mean, we pretty much can't lose this stage, even if we get, you know, total retarded kings. I can auto resolve my way to the rest of this. My lord, we're besieged. So I'm gonna get rid of these, these rebels. Maybe not. My lord. Yes. Yeah, we'll you can take the rest of these here, shitheads. Sire. 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 As you wish. Merging armies, my lord. Hail my king. Yes, my liege. My king. Mark. Hail my king. Hail my king. Leaving the rest of the All horse, right. sire. Yep. Yes, my liege. Yep. This tower will keep vigil over the lands, assembling a mighty host of your troops, sire. Command me, sire. We shall slaughter them below. There's only two units in there. Normally, They're I just order resolve that. I mean, wall, peasants and normal knights. They were performing well the order resolve. And butcher, sire. And it's not well defended. Now, the Pope probably isn't going to be too happy with this, but I don't give a shit. Suck my ass. If he has a problem, I'll fucking kill him as well. How old is he? 57, so he's not gonna live that long. Yes. Yes, sire! Moving to crush the enemy! Show it's time for him to mercy. enact his hatred kill over the all. his dislike over the Sicilians. And time for us to finally get rid of them. They've been a thorn in my side for a long time. Two cannons, we have enough here to bomb the entire fucking wall. All all three of them, I think. But we don't need to do that. This is gonna make for an expensive build. Don't need to crack knock down the wall, but just do it anyway. Enemy's walls into the breach and on to victory. Breaking through there seems to be the logical way to go. The thing is, what's the point in having three tiers of wall if you're not even going to try to defend them? Then again, with two units, what can you do? 
I tell you what, after playing this campaign, I really just feel like playing it normally because I didn't fight a single defensive siege. Not that I, not that I want to, but I don't know. I kind of miss them now. And I, f I do feel like there'll be some sort of expectation from people that like, oh, all of his campaigns are going to be exactly like this. No, 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 no. This is a special one. It's not going to be special if they, uh, if they're all like this. Why are you going the wrong way? Oh, you can't actually pass through that. Wait, hang on. You can. No, they can't. It's glitched. It's a good thing it's not being defended. Keen to do another stainless steel 6.4 campaign, but the problem is like it really just doesn't perform very well. And maybe I gotta stop doing gimmicks. Cause that's what all three of my my campaigns with stainless steel 6.4 they've all been gimmicks. Or not necessarily. I mean the first one was the um Quarazmian campaign to def defeat the Mongols. That was the only only thing to it, and then there's the pure-hearted Crusader says, which was alright. Let that get activated. Blank range. Good stuff. My lord, we've breached our enemy's walls. Let him go to the. Uh, actually, let's, let's cut these fuckers off over here. Except the king's lazy, so he's not going to bother fighting. is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. By St. George, our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. So, yeah, going back to the topic of stainless steel 6.4, like, I'll play stainless steel 6.4 in my own time, and, and series that get low views, well, there's no reason why I can't, just couldn't play them on my own time. I don't need to, um, to do them. I really do need to be focusing on things that do get views. And what gets views are things like Rome Total War and uh, Medieval 2 Total War. Just just regular campaigns. And on Vanilla. Vanilla gets more views than, than Stainless Steel. You know, just because like one or two loud people, they say, you'd get more views if you did this, this, or this. It's like, no, it's not the case. Mods just don't, they don't perform well for me. Just because they perform well for one channel doesn't mean it's going to do well for me. And that's just the way things are. Let's kill them. Fuck, a whole bunch of them got thrown off the wall. But I mean, it's just peasants. As in ancient Jericho, the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. That's... Yeah, we've got through it. Soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. And yeah, big problem with um, standing to 6.4 is that the Lord, thing is, I like to do a map command of the castle. And, you know, you, even if I play the game normally, we're looking at like 80 episodes. My lord, we've lost control of the castle. That's a lot. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. The Imperial Crusader State's campaign was full map completion with the Mongols and Timurids killed. 
and that was what was that? Fucking 124 Moving episodes. On, we've lost then again, of the castle. releasing all captives and all that kind of shit. It's not a good way to go about it. And like I do Divide and Impera. But the, the problem is that people expect me to play a certain way, and I'm just not going to play it the way that they expect. And they'll be like, "You'll get more views if you if you play Divide this and Pera," is which isn't true. That goes to only men of great virtue and valor. And then when I play it, and of course I'll play it the way I want to play it, they'll be like, "Well, you didn't get as many views because you did this, this, and this." And I'm just like, "You guys knew I was going to fucking play it that way. I don't know why you'd think otherwise." So. Such is the fate of all who oppose us. The settlement don't let you dictate the content. Because you, you guys war. have proven as a whole that you just don't know what you're talking about. Fleet ready, sire. Let's get these backseat drivers. Ships ready. Backseat viewers think they know everything yes, when they oh, actually sir. know nothing. My king. Sire. And I'll just tell you how it is. Some YouTubers, they were, they know that you're fucking, you know, that they wouldn't listen to their subscribers. But they, they don't have the balls to just say, look, I'm not going to listen to you because you're fucking idiots. I, however, don't have that. Hang up. I will tell people they're fucking idiots. Because how else will you know? People always expect to be coddled. Oh, you didn't have to say that I was a fucking idiot. Yes, sir. Well, you don't have to comment, so it works both ways, bitch. Okay, so they, they wanted to try it again at Eraclea, but we do have some knights here, so they'll help. But then again, if they've got dismounted Norman knights in here, that'll prove difficult to get rid of. But just in case, let's get some of these guys ready to go. Yeah, it's reaching that point in the campaign where I'm I'm thinking about like the the next campaign. I'm not really thinking too much about this because now it, it does it kind of sort of do this on autopilot. I know it's still role playing and everything, but I think most people probably got a little bit bored of it now. I mean, we're up to episode what is this? Episode nineteen. So, and like I said, people after a while. I mean, it was a good thing going, but nineteen episodes of it. I think people are ready for the next one, especially when the map is painted red. And we've really got a sort of a, a king where it's difficult to decide on exactly what his personality is. It's just a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Some contradictory stuff in there, so. Yeah, okay, we probably won't need any of these guys anymore. We're just paying extra money for them. Hail my king! So, Jacob will not be the next king. I, I mean, unless the king dies in combat, which is unlikely because he's lazy. Um, see, this guy is deranged. There's dysfunctional, deranged, and then dangerously mad. The King King William was dangerously mad. His brother, Jacob, is deranged. Now, I know for a fact that he was deranged at one point, but he went down to dysfunctional. Which I'm glad for, because I really didn't want to do another reign of another fucking mad king. So, it's most likely the next king will actually be Lawrence. I'm really hoping he's not like his father. Or at least, you know, at least one of his brothers, surely, surely not all of them are going to be fucking nutters. I mean, they're not inbred at all. Even though he married a relative, it's a distant relative. And really, once you get to second cousin, it's very unlikely you're going to get any inbred type of shit. And they weren't even second cousins, they're like third cousins. I have no generals in Egypt, so it's very hard for me to like send an army out to go and do anything because they just defect. I've had like two or three armies defect. Raising the fortifications as we go, sire. Are they going to make the attack or just starve us out? Because it's fine either way, as long as they don't occupy it. Like if they ruin the entire area, who gives a fuck? Because we we only really need Western Europe to be in good shape. 
because that's where we'll be launching our attack into Aztec time. Now, if we have a look at time wise, yeah, 1400 is when it happens, 65 turns remaining. Each turn is, is, is six months for every character, but two years in terms of this. So that is, an, a, we've got 130 years left. So the game ends in 1530. Now, it takes some time to build the fleet that we need, the, the ships. Maybe you should get rid of this. So we need to prioritize the naval dry dock. And then we need to get an army over there. Now. Maybe you could be the one to go. Look, there's no urgency to do it. We don't have to do it before the, you know, the historic end of the game. I mean, we can we can play up until 1600 if we really want to. Whatever the case is, the game will end as soon as we've got all settlements, and that is inevitable at this stage. It will happen. There is there's with the Timurids here. I mean, they're not they're not doing enough damage. They're not doing it fast enough, so. It's unlikely that, um, that, you know, that we're going to lose the campaign at this point here. Even with a total retard for a king, it's just not going to happen. Public order is mostly under control. All ashore! Now, you dogs! Catalans. So, these are like javelin men. I'm not a big fan of javelin men. Just hire some crossbows. So over here, not well defended. Why don't you go have a little bit of a scout? Yeah, that'll be easy. But it's a citadel, so it still requires, you know, three tiers of war we're going to knock down. How old are you? 53. Well, go, go stay near the Pope just in case things go sour with him at any point in time. Hail my king. Command me, sire. Hail my king. You don't build much tailors on the road because that's where rebels Leaving like to stand. The rest of the force, sire. Yes, my liege. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Assembling a mighty host of your troops, sire. Okay. Um, we do need to send someone to go and retake that, but we'll need a general to do that. These guys down here, they're too old. They'll never make it there in time. Yes. Okay, there was nothing else to do in this turn, so let's build and then move on. Ah, right. Um, we, we should be building as many of these naval dry docks as possible. Because there just isn't time not to do that. I mean, six turns, that's 12 years it takes to build it. Not to mention, then you've got to build the ships. See, that's not even a huge city yet. Fuck, I could even build one. No, I can't build an Argoin. Don't have a, a citadel there. Try and build it in most of the uh, the Western European and West African even um, settlements. Okay, now regular construction. Let's have a look. For some reason, I don't know why, my new mouse, um, it's got a very squeaky mouse wheel. I mean, I don't really mind, but I'm sure some people can hear that, hear it and be like, what's that squeaky noise? Mouse wheel. An order. Hail my king. Oh, there's plague here, and they've, they've dumped another army in here. My lord, we are besieged. 
Okay. Despite the fact you know lost the entire army, we did do a decent amount of damage to these these troops here. I would have really loved to have fought that manually. They plundered the city. Yeah, I knew he'd I knew he'd defect eventually. Can't do anything about that. George the Conqueror, are you? Not like George the Defector. Sicily has been excommunicated. Great. Let's call a crusade on them. Where shall we do it? Dongola? Because that's the last one I'm going to take. That would help that would actually really help me get around here much faster. Mongols are just gaining money because of their base income and the fact that they don't spend any money each day. The Holy Bible may pre We've seen this like 50 times now. I don't really want to see that movie. We'll go back to a previous episode and watch it. I'm always, for now and forever, going to pay out people that complain on my channel. Hail my king. And I will continue to insult you. If you open your mouth around me, expect to get smacked in the face. I mean, unless unless you're being a sycophant, I mean, if you if you want to praise me, I'm all for that. Yes, you go right ahead. Oh, you're such a dickhead, legend. Marching, sir. We go no further today. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes. I lost some chivalry, but that's okay. Your will, sir. He really wants to kill these Sicilians. To battle it is then, sire. Yes, sire. Besieging the enemy. I shall lead our forces into battle. Before the dawn comes, the enemy will be whimpering for mercy. I leave it to you to decide if they will receive any. All right then. Now, attacking from here is not really a great spot because then you gotta move all the way around. We should attack from here, I think, from this angle. I can't sit up around there though. The other side, no, that's no good because you can't you can't break through. Oh, hang on, I can break through this. I can break through this wall. Unless I think I can. I can break through that. All right, let's set up here. Yeah, no, I can't bash through that, but I can through here. You're gonna have to move around. It's a lot of effort just to kill one unit. I mean, auto resolve would be better, but like I said, part of this campaign is auto resolve all battles that are not with the king, and many to resolve all battles that are with the king, regardless of how futile they are. the enemy's walls into the breach and on to victory so we come through here and then need to get into position to blow up this section here they're not going to stand and fight in this section here. it'd be good if we could fight them here because then if they're out we, we won the battle but that's just not going to happen
Let me just wrestle that man. By St. George, we've breached the enemy's walls. Damn, Coburn's are good. If only they didn't slow us down on the campaign map, they'd be the perfect sieging tool. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. There's fucking things in the way. But they're not making any effort to uh, activate the towers. Let me just see if you can't hit it from here. Oh, you can? Okay, good. Through the enemy's walls, into the breach, and on to victory. Actually, let me just say something. We've got a, a good opportunity here to test the quality of our men. Let's put an armored sergeant, just a single one, up against. Sorry, uh, an armoured swordsman up against an armoured sergeant. We'll see how they perform. It doesn't really matter that they're a little bit tired to begin with, because they'll get tired quickly as well. We'll just see how they perform. Mm, they're exhausted. Maybe I should... Maybe I should wait. The thing is, it's going to take them half an hour to recover their fatigue. Well, I'll just pause the recording. I'll wait for them to recover some fatigue, because it'd be a good idea to test exactly how they perform. Okay, so I waited about five minutes and they became fresh. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. And let's just see how a unit of armoured swordsmen go up against armoured sergeants. They do have one experience. How, how about them? One experience as well. Alright, we'll see how they perform. So cost-wise, oh, they're on crusade. Doesn't matter. Now, there's fewer of them, but if you have a look at their stats, okay. So 14 attack, 22 defence. Versus 8 attack and 14 defense. So 20, 22 defense. So they're, they're much higher statted. Yeah, they don't charge. Trying to get a good angle. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah, our armored swordsmen are absolutely wrecking them. I mean, they've killed 50 on them, of them, and they've only lost two. Only half the enemy force remains. And this is on the hardest difficulty as well. They would have performed even better on, e on normal difficulty. I mean, it certainly did help that I, I brought them into the fight um, fresh. Normally I'd throw them into the fight um, pretty tired, just because I don't give a shit.
So yeah, I think when it comes to Total War, the direction they've taken in regard to elite versus crap units is the wrong direction. Medieval 2 has got it right. What it needs to be is there needs to- Boston George! Our men have taken good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. I'm trying to speak here, bitch. the base cur to hell. This is the ideal situation, I think. Militia troops this sh and elite troops, there shouldn't be a great deal of difference between cost and upkeep. Yes, there should be a much higher cost in recruitment, but upkeep-wise, it shouldn't be a hell of a lot more. So, for example, a militia unit costing 100 florins per turn and an elite unit costing, say, 200 florins per turn. Twice as much, but that's not that much extra. It's not like with Total War Warhammer where a militia unit is like 50 gold in upkeep and then an elite unit is like four or five hundred in upkeep. It's just not, it's it's not going to be able to take out six or seven militia units. This is, in a battle, it's just not going to be able to do that, not, not simultaneously All at least. of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. And instead what they need to do is make the elite troops less available. This is what oh, I've always praised the recruitment system, because in this, for example, you can have militia units that the recruitment pool increases their numbers by one each turn. And then you've got your elite units, which may take three turns to get one of them. So if you're in a state of constant war, you have to replenish your numbers fast, um, especially if you're losing battles or just taking casualties. And so you're forced to recruit the militia, but of course you really want those elite units, forcing you to expand your barracks and increase the rate of replenishment. I think that would work a hell of a lot better. And that being said, let me just... Have a look at the Victory! actual comparison between an elite unit. Victory! I guess 150 These as opposed to a militia type unit, 125. Us, but of course they've got more men in it. So maybe compare that. Yeah, so the But then again then there's these as well. Armored swordsman's very cost effective. And to me it just this system here that they did, it's just so perfect. I mean, maybe maybe it could be like 5% better and it would just, it's just perfect. Shit, As opposed to, the thing is on this game, do you ever see me spam one unit type? Because you can't. You can't spam one unit type. I mean, here I can, I can um, get spam one unit type across, if I recruit from 50 different regions at once and then they, they show up in the same spot. Like in my Turkish campaign, oftentimes you'll see me with only horse archers. But the thing is, I've got different types of horse archers. I've got the ones that I've recruited, I've got the ones that mercenaries, and everything I've gathered along the way. So it's like six different types of horse archers. And that's only because I've like gone all across, you know, Asia in order to, to get them. Fleet ready, sire. Yes, sir. You know, your oh, army can often represent the areas that you visited. Like, if, like for example, the armies that are up here that had Sudanese tribesmen, you can only get them from down here. I think that just that works out really well. And when I say Total War Warhammer, I do refer to a Total War Tiller okay. as well. Like, Total War Tiller is the worst in terms of um, elite units. Um, Rome 2 is not too bad, but with Total War Tiller, fuck me sideways, did they get that game wrong? Because cheap units are so much better uh, than the than the elites. The elites are so overpriced, it's not funny. Not in multiplayer battles, because the recruit cost is not the big deal, it's the upkeep cost on campaign. That's the big deal. Because like I said, when, when, I'm, when I'm recruiting troops, I don't really worry too much about the recruitment costs. I worry about the upkeep costs, because most of the time I've got units, I'm going to have them for more than a handful of turns, or more than one turn. And so, you want to make sure that it's not breaking your bank to have these units. What, what is the point in winning battles if it loses you the war, you know, because it's just too expensive? That's the problem with elite units. And then, you know, you get people saying, oh, you know, try to win the game properly by, uh, by actually manually resolving fights with elite units. Well, that's called not playing the game optimally because it's just, the game's designed badly. And so in order to play the game optimally, we have to play the game badly. You hate me, but you to war then, we should be able to win that. So yeah, because the Crusaders are Dongola, 
Um, you'll have to take Palermo, then Tripoli, and then head over here. And maybe then, maybe maybe you then you'll focus on the um, the Timurids since it's right there. But I uh, will see. Hail my king! An order. Sometimes when people say, "Oh, you just love medieval too because of nostalgia," not true. It's not true at all. Because, like I said, if that's the case, Medieval 1 was the first Total War I played. Why aren't I playing Medieval 1 all the time? Because Medieval 2 is better. That's why. I play, I play the games that I like to play. Nostalgia doesn't really have that big of an effect on me. Like, when I played Beasts and Bumpkins on my secondary channel, that's nostalgia. That being said, it's also still a good game. That's a good thing about strategy games, is that they... Even when they're really old, they're, if they're good, they stand the test of time. Whereas, like, first-person shooters, like... It's, it's very hard to go back and play, like, Wolfenstein 3D, because it's like, oh my god, look at the graphics. Because with those kind of games, you, you do want to have better graphics. Um, let me just see. Ships ready. Yes, my lord. I want you to go and get him to marry, get her to marry the king. I mean, yeah, we are create an alliance, but I'm just gonna betray them again straight away. I don't give a fuck. Moving on. Our people rule these waters, sire. Oh, she's running away now. No, I don't want to marry your prince. Or your king. Well, too bad. He needs to get his dick wet. Wait, unless you're like a really old princess. Yeah. Inquisitor can't fucking... Um, execute a blasphemer, but had no problem executing my priests. They're heading over to Edessa now. Edessa's not going to be able to... Um, we, oh, shit, it's not a huge city. Yeah, well, they're not going to be able to hold out for four turns. Oh, well, you know. It's going to get plundered and then basically get reset back to zero. Fleet ready, sire. Alright, how are we going to do this? We should... Should we draw them out? The, they've got... No more I don't think we draw should, should bother. Sword. Just go straight for the... Straight for their capital. Bringing the men ashore, sir. My king. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Besieging the cowards, my liege. Patiently awaiting to breach and butcher, sire. They'll wish they'd never been born, sire. And another Maybe thing that Medieval 2 now. does great Attack! that the other Total Wars don't is that on vanilla it keeps the game relatively fresh for the entirety of the campaign. Like when you play like Rome 2 for example, after about 30-40 turns, turns, it's like it's all the same. It's just rinse and repeat, the same, same, same fucking factions just with a different name. Okay, let's listen to his speech. Harden your hearts and remember your loved ones. Think of your rewards to come. Now, to battle! But in Medieval 2, there are events that happen which change warfare throughout the game. First one being, Mongols arrive. Second one, gunpowder. Then, Timurids arrive. And then the new world becomes available. All of this happening within 215 turns. And, you know, things like Crusades happen. Things, things keep, uh, keep fresh the majority of the campaign. So many reasons, just like this, that make it the best Total War. It's simple things like that. Because, like, 
when you're playing Rome 2, for example, you go and beat the Arverni. Great. Now you have to go beat the 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 Nervii, and then there's the Pictones, and then there's a the all all those other ones. They're all just the same thing with a different name. The enemy are bringing in which is more historically accurate, but it doesn't make it any more exciting. And bring the exact same armies. All right, so. I remember when Rome 2 first came out, it was just like, the AI, all they ever did was hire slingers. That's it, it was just like, 12 units of slingers in every army. I don't have a lot of cavalry, so it's hard to justify charging after them. We've breached our enemy's walls. And yeah. In regard to the, like, the Scipio campaign, like I think I've released episode 13 now, and people are starting to comment saying, like, they still enjoy the campaign, but it's getting to the point where it's not as enjoyable as the first few episodes, because I've got like half the map and went for the Civil War, which it did occur. I did manage to have this, the AI cause the Civil War. All those people said it was impossible. Fucking were wrong, of course people talking out their ass, making assumptions and then making absolute fact of, making it like it's an absolute thing when they don't know shit. Anyway, but um, late campaign, the time like like this area here, I don't expect a lot of people to be watching at this stage in the campaign because the role playing aspect with this particular king is kind of difficult because he's he doesn't have any really interesting traits. I mean, you, you can't expect me to make him behave the same way as his father did, because his father was dangerously mad, he's just dysfunctional. And as I've said before, I'm dysfunctional, okay, and I can still... I can still think correctly. I'm probably actually not classified as dysfunctional, but still. Alright. What are they doing? Are they just gonna... Bit of a stalemate. I think we should deal with them. I don't think I need my artillery to deal with it. Although we could, we've got heaps of ammo. Look at them go, just tearing him to pieces. Should call them Lisa, because they're tearing them apart. Oh my god, it's so lame. Let's see how many of you get that. Uh, everyone fucking knows that meme. If you're on the internet, you don't know what that meme is. You haven't been on the internet for very long. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Fucking hell. Is that all they've got left? Oh, hang on, hang on, stop that. I'm gonna shoot my own men. The enemy are oh. in George. We've captured the enemy's general. That'll teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. Now he can rest at our leisure. And if anyone says, Why didn't you move your archers back? I mean, well, they take like 10 casualties. There's just no need. I mean, archers do not need to be protected at all costs. Sometimes I just like this is a tactic I used in, in Total War Attila online battles, is that uh, I use slingers to actually take the brunt of the initial charge. So the the enemy would charge in, and then they'd be like, "What the fuck? Why aren't you using, moving your slingers back?" They'd charge into my slingers, be like, "I'm just slaughtering your slingers." They'd be like, "I didn't need them anymore anyway because they're cheap." And then of course they've used up their charge bonus, and then my berserkers would come in and just fucking wreck their line because they'd get the full charge bonus on the, on their main infantry. Because the slingers, the thing is, they, they would have already 
they would have already done the damage just um just on their approach because they use up all their ammo very quickly in that game didn't mind Total War Attila online battles I just thought the campaign was shit which it is shit like I said, I've been looking at new campaigns to do for Total War Attila, and maybe, maybe by the time this episode is out, maybe I will have actually started one. But all I can say is that, like, I just, I'm just not certain about any of them because I'm, I'm leaning towards something like the White Huns, uh, just for fun. But the problem is, is that I know that any campaign I do like that is, is still going to be like 50 fucking episodes, which is just not good. Even if I make them an hour, well, if I make them an hour and a half, it'll probably only be like 30 episodes. Making hour and a half videos has really helped my channel out. Uh, there's been like one or two people saying, I don't like, I don't like the, 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 the longer videos. And I just said, you can, you can pause and, and like go back to them another time. So people prefer to have four 10 minute videos than one 40 minute video. Well, all right, well then I'm not for you, bitch. That's all there is to it. Because these are let's plays, they're not edited videos. What I've found, I think, that most people watch these videos, but they don't even watch it, they're just listening in the background. Like, whether well, they're at work or they're studying or something like that, and they just want to listen to my voice. So I could just talk about anything. Which is why I just talk about anything, because I know that's, that's the case. Especially at this stage of the campaign, people aren't watching to see, oh, is he going to win the campaign or not? Fuck, we won it ages ago. You're here to listen to my beautiful fucking voice. It's taken me a long time, but I've got a pretty good idea of what my audience is like now. We're through the enemy's walls. Into the breach and on to victory. What happened here? Oh, I must have shot some of my but that's okay. As long as they stay above 10 men, still keep the two cannons. You know, funny thing is, to some extent, I actually do feel like playing Total War Warhammer again, but I know that I like get halfway through a campaign, I get super fucking frustrated with the game. So I'm like trying to, trying to um, just not play it. Not even in my own time, because Total War Warhammer 2 will come out soon. Definitely after this episode's release. It's not gonna be too... That's the great thing about the way things are going now. Low episode numbers mean I get these episodes out fairly quickly. It's not like... It's not like you're watching this a year after it's been recorded. It'll be like maybe a month at most. No, not even that. Maybe two weeks. Maybe more than that. I don't know. Because the thing is, like, with the the Eastern Roman Empire, this is a Total War campaign, 90 episodes. But also, you know, when at one point last year I had 13 series concurrently running, or even more than that even. So some series were only being uploaded, like, once a week. Or once every two weeks, even. But now, you get, like, three episodes of each series a week. It helps keep things fresh. My lord, we've breached our enemy's walls! Send in the attack. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. A few peasant archers there, but nothing to be too concerned about. However, I'll send these guys around to go and lock them in combat so they stop shooting. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Oh 
Last! Our men no longer command the castle! We await your command! All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won! Oh, we're almost at time. Okay, so, ransom or execute? Well, he hates Sicilians and he's got some dread, so fucking execute them. Such is the fate of all who oppose us. Another settlement falls before us. Victory! Cool. So, they have been completely kicked out of Italy. They're now an African faction. Alright, a little bit of damage done to us here. I mean, look at this unit. It's a piece of shit. Have we got... I mean, we, we can recruit some knights here if we want to stay there for a turn. We are just male knights. Well, that doesn't matter. Get two of those. Spend this get a third. Actually, before Command we do anything, I should probably Sire. take him off and on the crusade. Although I could just get mercenary knights. Yeah, I'll just do that. I'll let them maintain public order. My king, I'm loath to leave dry land, sire. I doubt there's going to be any fleet that's going to take us out. You know, I, I never bothered to recruit any units here, because I, I don't want to leave male knights to, to um, garrison settlements. It's not efficient, but whatever. Yes, sir. Full sail. I hope the king's not down here, because if we kill the we'll king, the crusade will, morning, will end. Sire. How do I have... Oh, right. I was going to say, how do I have sight here? Because the crusade gives us sight. Admiring the enemy, eh? Hail, my king! As you command, my liege. Uh, there's a fairly Hail large garrison noble, here. Sire. So we'll need the other army. An order, my lord. Command me, sire. Actually, we could put them on crusade. Because As it's Russians, we don't, we don't get a penalty king. for that. By your will, sire, this helps us to move around the map faster. Ah, glory, honor, victory! My lord, our courage and honor have conquered! For a large city, they really haven't built up a public order here much. I guess they didn't feel the need to. Yes, sire. Moving to... You have earned the... <laughs> Victory! Okay, so stay there for a turn. And then make your way down to uh, Ryazan. Mongols are still out there somewhere. We'll hunt them down eventually. But the... Uh, the yeah, the Russians need to be... Need to be punished for what they did. Jeez, the Spanish should have been able to conquer the entire peninsula again, because I've, I've made no effort to deal with them. But that's fine. How many settlements are we on to now? 95. We don't need another large Steve Skill to so many of them. Congratulations on Steve and Steel. 5% global war bonus is just amazing, especially the late campaign. One of the reasons that I love stainless steel 6.4 so much, having all of those um, master master thieves skills everywhere. It's orgasmic. All right, let's move on. Maybe they're not going after Odessa. Okay, well that's good. I should try and make it a huge city just in case, because once we've made it a huge city, even if it gets plundered, it won't ever go back to being a large city again. 
I don't like. No. Alright, I want you to raise an army from up here. I can't really justify sending them down here without a general or until our king's authority increases, which. It's not happening anytime soon, but he's not gonna live forever. Ships ready. You want us gone? Then yes, my lord. Engaging the enemy fleet. Okay, the faction air is in there. I don't I'm not gonna make this attack today. But we'll go into procedure. Now you dogs! We shall slaughter them, my lord! They're dead once we breach the walls, sire. Patiently awaiting to breach and butcher, sire. Cool. So three more turns until we can start raising a navy to uh, to go after the new world. But there's no rush with all that stuff. These. And the grapples and prepare to board. Our people rule these waters, sire. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys, so like or subscribe, part 20 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.